Name's Jake. Welcome to my world. Two, one. I'm standing outside Groom Lake at the edge of what is rumored to be a top secret Air Force base, although the government has always denied its existence. For some reason, air activity and radio traffic in the area is at its highest in recent memory, leading to speculation that the government covers up. As a kid, I loved to blow things up. Plastic army men were my favorite. The year is 2026 and I've changed. A little. I'm a special task force marine in the explosives division. Much to my wife's disapproval. Only now I defuse bombs. Before they blow my brains out. What a rush. I received a call early this morning for my next mission. I hate being woken up before noon. See, it's your standard defuse and run, only this time the explosives aren't going to be popped in any ordinary building. They're in a classified place where the government hides anything that might disturb the average Joe. I know a little about it because my father worked there until his death 15 years ago. He died in a plane crash on the way to work along with 10 other scientists. Or so they said. I was only nine when it happened. The strange thing is that two days ago I received a phone call from a man who refused to tell me his name. He told me he was a friend of my father's and that soon I'd be learning more about his death. The next day I was assigned to this top secret mission inside a place called Area 51. This is Broken Helix, a game developed by Konami in 1997. Um, this was actually made by their Chicago-based studio, which I don't think exists anymore and I don't think did a lot of things. Also, sorry, I'm kind of cycling uh, through the start and options uh, here. This is mainly because I want to prevent the game to go into demo mode, which it'll do pretty quickly if you don't press anything on the screen. So, this game is from 1997. And uh, if you know your console history, you know that this is pretty shortly after the release of the PlayStation. I mean, one year afterwards, pretty much. So this whole CD and uh, 3D shtick was still pretty new. And obviously some people thought they wanted to really, really make use of those two things. Um, especially all the storage you get on a CD. So one thing that started popping up was fully voiced dialogue in games, which was still not a very common thing. I mean, still to this day, many games uh, don't actually have fully voiced dialogue. Not every line in the game is voiced, because they might have so many, it's just ridiculous to do it. This game, however, is one of the first ones to have fully voiced dialogue. It's definitely not the first, but it is one of the first. And, uh, they really, really took advantage of all that storage space, uh, storage space on that CD, there's actually a lot of dialogue in this game. I might even say a little too much. Once I hit start here, and after the first cutscene is over, you're gonna be overwhelmed by a lot of sounds, a lot of people talking to you. It might seem a little random, and uh, I'm probably not gonna be talking a lot in this first video here. I mean, this is kind of part zero if you want. Uh, I just wanna kinda give you an impression of what it is like when you first play this game. And then from the next part on, we're gonna be doing a little more serious uh, progress making and going through the game as you really want to. So, uh, prepare your ears. There are things I like about my job and things I don't. I hope you had your beauty sleep, Private, because you need it! What's the situation, sir? A scientist has placed major explosives on the first two levels of the base. He's threatening to blow them up if we don't meet his demands. Your mission is to defuse these bombs. 
If you look at files, talk to anyone, or even go to the bathroom before you defuse these bombs, I will take one of these explosives and shove it right up your... I understand, sir. You must avoid being seen by any flying security cameras in the base. If they spot you, the scientists will blow this base up. Do you understand? Yes, sir. They're trying to keep something in or out. Hey, what's with the escort service? This is Marine Commander Black Dawn. He and his men are going to clean things up after you complete your mission. You will contact me and let me know after you defuse the explosives. Understood? Yes, sir. What's your major malfunction, Private? Say it like a Marine! Yes, sir. Move out! It's showtime. Security camera active. Yeah. Party on, dude. Open sesame. He's not giving us much time. Yeah, you're right. We have to move quickly if we're going to be the first to get the interview. Where are you? I'm on level four. Fitz is sending someone to meet us. I'll be there soon. <laughs> Shake and bake him. I told you no military personnel. Move your men out or I blow this place. Hmm. I lost contact with a security robot. I wonder if any of your toy soldiers has anything to do with it. You now have less time to meet my demands. Defuse the first bomb. Good! Get your butt to the next one! There you go. Definitely hey, buddy, you sure picked a yeah, weird time to go. Course, you know, there will be a mess. Uh, you know, Houston, they'll blame me. Definitely. They never make it up. Never make it up before I'm blown up. Definitely Yo, gonna blow Earth up the to Mumbles, base. Yeah, listen up. Of course, you know, there will be a mess. Everywhere you hear me? Mess. Don't blame me, definitely. Never make this it up. This guy's giving me the creeps. Hey, buddy, you sure picked a weird there. time to go. Definitely gonna blow up the whole base. Yep, yeah, of course, you know, uh, there will be a mess. Houston, yeah, we definitely have a, a mess. Problem. Definitely All right, you tell me what you know about the explosives, Mumble Mouth, or I'll redecorate this stall with your. Yep, better give him the card. Wacko. Definitely wacko. Hey man, listen to this. We now have confirmed reports that the body of Elvis has been seen inside the base. Earlier we asked the local farmhand why he thought the military would want his body. Well, isn't it obvious? They want to bring him back from the dead to wiggle his hips for one last time. Turn that crap off. Hey, just try to have some fun. No time for that. <laughs> Huh. 
Huh. I think I missed something. Pretty gruesome hole. But a nice explosion. So... This game is actually pretty cool. I think, at least. You might not have noticed based off of this, but this game actually has what it calls four-dimensional gameplay. And it has four different ways of going through the game, or four different endings. There's a few different ways to go about getting them. And there's actually a lot going on in this game. And, uh, you all... We'll see what this four-dimensional gameplay is next time. But I think, or I hope rather, I got you a somewhat good impression of how hard this game might be to penetrate if you get it the first time. But don't worry, next time, and from then on, I'll be making some actual progress in this game. So, uh, see you then.